guys, it's Misha Dory here at 187, the home of perfectly lowered vehicles and the most gangster Mercedes. you a look around my 190e it's a w201 from 1991 it started out as life as a 1.8 uh, auto and then we decided to do a manual conversion to an m104 take a look so what i decided to do since all my tattooing is freehand was to just freehand some tattoos on my engine you know so i actually had a call from my other half saying you dress like a cholo your car is pretty much turning low rider, so why have you not engraved it? So straight after he said that, we went to town, started with my trims, decided that they need to be done. Then I did my rear window and then boom, straight onto the engine. Um, it actually came standard with a plastic plenum here. So the plastic plenum just wasn't fitting the bill. Uh, upgraded it to this TE Motorsports one. Uh, it cost a pretty penny, but I feel like it completely makes the build. Uh, it's also now ready for a turbo to be added on when I run out of things to draw on. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of my tattoos actually hidden in this engine bay. My face tattoo is down here. Uh, I've then got one of my throat tattoos uh, on the housing of another part over there. And yeah. So the next thing I want to talk about is the body kit on my car. Uh, I actually just started with the front and the, the rear bumper decided to get rid of the rear bumper in the end. It just wasn't good. Actually, the biggest flex about my car is that this is ASAP Rocky's rear, rear Cosworth bumper. Uh, we did a trade when he decided to make the Need for Speed one. So big up yourself ASAP on that. Uh, these are twin AMG tips for my side exit exhaust because if you're gonna shoot two meter flames, you wanna do it twice. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is too rude for YouTube, so big engraving energy. So uh, this is the next thing that I want to talk about is my boot build. Uh, it's actually the next thing that I'm going to re reintroduce as a completely fresh thing. I've got so many plans for it. Um, so I'm running an airlift tank and one compressor uh, to go with my three piece setup. Uh, got all, all the bits to go with it. It's, it's um, it's always been the same. I've always run airlift and I love it as a product. So gonna keep going with that. Yeah, I've got mad secret plans for this boot build. So just keep your eyes out and keep your eyes peeled for the next thing that's coming up because it's gonna be huge. So the next conversation I wanna have with you is about my wheels. So they started off life as a 15 inch standard carbon head 40s with some dreadful center caps. I cannot tell you how terrible they were. Uh, so when we got them in, uh, me and Nick decided it was time to make them three piece splits. So we got my old Futuras, cut them up. Uh, now they're 17 inches running the Futura, Futura uh, dishes and barrels. So these center caps we decided to make uh, on a whim. We actually found a spacer that fitted the gap perfectly. Took them to a friend, he cut us some circles Nick came back with them and was like, do your thing. So I uh, got my friend Paul to make them all shiny and nice, took the engraver to them and just made some one of ones because I thought everything else is custom. Why not my center caps? So uh, an another last minute thing that I did because that's what I seem to do the most, uh, took these off, decided that this bit was aluminium, got them polished and then went ham with the Dremel. I'd never engraved glass before. Um, it was actually way more tricky to do because you push into the metal when you do metal, but with glass, you're literally balancing on the surface. Um, so I started out with just some cobwebs on my rear quarter glass. Uh, and then I added, obviously, Nas lyrics, because he's my favorite. So I wrote they shooting and then made you look on the other side. that I want to discuss is my headliner. There's a little story behind this. Uh, basically, I had this full interior, uh, bought it as a Cosworth interior, had it retrimmed, and uh, it was three days before we revealed the car for fitted, and all the boys were like, leave the headliner alone. And I was like, I can't leave it alone, man. It's gray. I can't leave it alone. It does not match the car. And they were like, leave it alone. So me in natural, me style, got some black dye, walked past the car and went, Boom, 
Um, it looked so bad that then I had to do it. So I painted it all black, looked at it, nearly cried. It looked horrific. Uh, and then realized, well, next door in the tattoo shop, I've got some spray paint left over and some Posca graffiti markers, right? Because I'm sometimes naughty and do a little bit of graffiti. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the straight lines were a piece of cardboard that I cut out with scissors to make it straight and a piece of string. And uh, this doesn't actually come out, by the way, it has to stay in. So I wound all my seat back and literally did it like this. After about four hours, I had the worst back ache on the planet, but I was on a strict time scale. But I think it came out pretty nice. Um, so for probably the first five years of owning this car, it had a gray cloth interior, which served me well, but I decided it was time to have a change. So I went for this Cosworth interior. I actually had a call from an old friend that was gonna build one of these with a V8 and he didn't go through with the build. Uh, and he said, I want it to go to a good home, you know, someone who's gonna look after it. So naturally, we pulled it apart. And uh, got the, the whole interior retrimmed by So Good, the best guys ever, with Alcantara in all of the, um, all the door cards. Absolutely love it. I wanted the perforated centers because all Mercs have the perforated centers and I just think it's a really nice touch. Decided to go with the white seat belts because I wanted to bring the, the inside of the car and outside of the, the car together. I wanted them to merge, you know, and I thought that was a nice little touch to do so. Um, with the interior, I've got a few things I'm doing. So at the moment, I'm having these made out of aluminium, uh, little pieces for here, which are also gonna be engraved. I think it'd be nice to do that just to go with my steering wheel because if the outside of the car is that ridiculous, I feel like the inside should be too. Do you know what I'm saying? So the inspiration for this build, um, honestly, since I was probably about 13, I would say maybe 14, I have loved Blink-182, right? They were my first favorite band and they brought out a song called Down and the music video was produced by Estevan Oriol. Uh, so I went on to Google and I researched as much as I could then because it was dial-up internet uh, about the culture that was portrayed in that music video and they showed like downtown LA graffiti and the, the style of clothing, the things they were doing, low rider cars and then I, I was just obsessed. It like took my breath away and I would watch that over and over and over again, that one video. My mum used to be like, why are you watching that video again? Um, and it was literally since then, you know, since proper early. My dad's always bought and sold and built old American cars. Uh, so it's a mixture of those two things. That originally got me into graffiti and because I'd seen it in that, that music video, they were doing like Mexican style gang related graffiti. That's where I went and headed, which led me into uh, tattooing more script than anything. And literally since then it's snowballed, you know, I just, I love the fact that in their culture, their culture, they have so much respect for everything they own and everything is done in depth, you know. I am a little bit too much in everything I do, the way I look, the way I dress, everything, you know, my art is ridiculous. So it was just nice for me to have a style where I could almost push the boundaries of UK stance culture from let's take things down and condense it to nice and clean and 5% to let's scale it up to 90%, make it refined, but still over the top. So yeah, I just want my build to be over the top like me. And that's where my whole style and everything I love comes from.